welcome back in previous chapter we saw how to set up a local development environment to create and test your php web applications in this video i will walk you through some basic apache and php configurations useful for development purpose I assume you successfully install Bitnami WAM stack by following steps given in previous video. At the start, you will see a Bitnami WAM stack control manager here. From here, you can go to applications. or open php my admin or open application folder here in manage server steps you can see there are option to stop restart and configure respected services both for apache and mysql database if you click mysql database and click configure you will see a pop up window from where you can set the port number from where the mysql will run you can change this port number in case there are conflict in the system but bitnami installer will by default automatically will choose the available port for mysql database most commonly 3306 you can see the logs for the mysql database here and also you can open a config file from here similar thing with apache web server here you can stop and restart the service and click configure and you will see port number by default 80 in case there are conflict you can also change it from here open access logs for apache web server open error log and also open config file httpd.conf here you can see server events currently there are no events here another way to configure the respected service is to go directly to the installation folder from open application folder here you can see bitnami install the respected softwares or components in separate folders like apache web server is here mysql is here php is installed in this folder to configure apache server you can select the folder and go to conf folder here you can see httpd.conf file you can edit this file with any text editor and you see there are lot of codes here usually by default the setting was perfectly fine in case you want to change uh, some locations or some other settings you can set it from here for example here is server document root means where the apache server is currently installed here is listen port number 
here you can enable or disable specific modules just uncomment and the module will be disabled add the comment and modules will be disabled and uncomment and module will be enabled here server admin email server name local host here you can set allow access or deny access to particular directory and here you can see the most important path is document root where the currently our all the website files are stored that is ht docs here bitnami apache ht docs in case you want to change the path you can set it from here for example you want to set the part path to d drive and ht docs you can set it from here and restart our apache server there are other extra setting also but at the moment we are not going to change anything because default setting are fine and it's working absolutely fine similar way if you go to mysql folder here you can see my.ini which is a configuration file for mysql database you can edit it in using any notepad editor you can see a default username is here and port number and base directory you can also include other uh, syntax here other parameters to configure mysql server but the default values are fine and last but not least this is php.ini file this file also have various configuration setting for example short open tags like tags like short open tags like this php if you enable this tags will be enabled asp tags tags like they are by default off but you can enable it from here saying on and php codes inside this tag will work similar way but using that tag is bad practice so i am not going to enable it maximum execution time when you run a php script this is the value in seconds for this amount php codes will keep on executing and once the php loops uh, keep on executing after this execution time the php will automatically close the program here you can enable error reporting if you disable this it won't show any error currently it showing e all means all errors and warnings e deprecated means deprecated function warning and strict means runtime notice unable to have php suggest changes but at the moment display errors are off since we are on the development server it is good practice to keep it on because once we execute the php codes and there are some errors 
it will show the errors on the pages if we make it uh, off we won't be able to sh uh, see any errors for live servers production server it is better to keep it off because we don't want our users or hackers to see the errors or steal any possible information or guess any information Lo error logging is on from here this is the extension directory for php these are the extensions which are required to execute some specific functions from here you can see these uncommented extensions are unable for example php curl function extension is unable from here if you want to disable it just comment it uncomment the line comment the line and it will be disabled by default bitnami installer successfully installed these extensions so we don't need to worry about uh, these extension in case we need some extra functionality you can enable the extension from here there are several configuration settings which are mostly useful for advanced user so we are not going to change any of those settings at the moment we just enable error reporting on the most important thing to remember here is when you save any changes from here the changes won't take effect automatically you will have to restart the apache web server in order to changes take effect so we enabled the error reporting for php so now we are going to restart the apache web server so the new new setting will will be applied when the server is restarted so now error reporting is on you can also create a basic php file with php info function and save it to bitnami apache and hd doc folder and run it from localhost info.php this file this simple function gives you all the information about the currently installed version of apache like Uh, uh, current version of php and all other uh, extension enabled on our system you can see php version 5.5.30 is installed on our development server configuration file path bitnami configuration file path and other extensions this is really helpful function to get the information about all the system of our development system see display error is on now so that's it we are we are now uh, ready to 
uh, start developing php application and learn uh, php step by step if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section thank you for watching the video